The Moore Show is in partnership with Ozark Mountain Publishing, taking readers beyond the unexplained. If you like what you watch, then don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates on The Moore Show. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new weekly television and radio shows. The Moore Show is supported by Mindscape, Paranormal and UFO Matrix magazines. Available for download on all major digital platforms. The comments and views expressed on The Moore Show are those of the people that make them and do not necessarily reflect the view of Kevin Moore, The Moore Show, or this radio station and its affiliate or sponsors. This show is for entertainment purposes only. My guest now is Michael Perlin. Now, Michael is the director of the movie Three Magic Words. From Michael's lengthy study of metaphysics, he became determined to find a common theme in all the ancient mystical teachings, which led to the message in this movie. Michael attempts to reaffirm the old spiritual concepts that we're all one, and this makes oneness is connected to the divinity in all things, just through these three magic words. Good evening, Michael. Hi, how are you? I'm fantastic. It's great to be joined with yourself. Um, it's you know, great to be here. Michael, the universe only knows one word, and I I'm beginning to believe it's the word yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes, you can do and be what you want and experience what you want. Yes, anything is possible, and uh, you know, you've gone to prove that uh, with uh, making this, uh, this movie a reality as well. Um, but um, just to begin with, where are you right now? I am in Albuquerque, and uh, we're getting ready to show the, the movie to the, at the Albuquerque Film Festival, also known as the Albuquerque as the International Film Festival. Oh my gosh. And uh, it's the first annual film festival in Albuquerque um, at this level for conscious films, transformational films. So, yeah, that's where I am. That's incredible, isn't it, the path that you've come on? And we're going to get into that path in, in just a bit as well. Uh, for the audience that's new to the word metaphysics, what is a metaphysical director, Michael? I'm glad you asked, because a lot of people are very confused by that word, and they're scared by it, too. Um, basically, metaphysics is, uh, and you can look it up, there's a lot of different definitions, but they all mean the same thing. And to me, it's uh, the... Um, the study of the nature of reality and the existence of God. Okay. Okay. So it's simple. It's just it's, it's not it's not religious. It's not it's not uh, New Age. It's just basically it's the study of the the beyond what we can't see with our own eyes. Um, you know, beyond our body, beyond our mind, um, the reality that exists all around us in the whole universe. So it's the study of what that is. Okay. So what were some of the spiritual texts that you read? Uh, be just at the pinnacle of your journey um, when you were, I suppose, going through some sort of shift in a sense, were you? Yeah, there's actually, it's too many to list. Uh, it's been about 25 years of going through, uh, I actually worked at a metaphysical bookshop um, for about seven months, and I had such a cool manager that all I did was just read books the whole time behind the counter. But, you know, uh, so I just picked up everything that I could find and just soaked it up like a sponge. And I, I had an open mind, so I just I, I wasn't closed off to anything. And I read, you know, any from I read from the Bhagavad Gita, you know, the Vedas, uh, all the Hindu tradition, the myst, Eastern mysticism, Buddhism, um, the Keys of Enoch, the Urantia book. Uh, you name it, everything that was out there, all the New Age best-selling authors like Neil Donald Walsh, um, Louise Hayes, um, a lot of old stuff that, that was discontinued as well, because you, know, you can find some real gems in the used books section. So I just read everything I can get my hands on from every religion and every culture and on metaphysics and philosophy. Okay, so and, and I, you've, me you've mentioned Neil Donald Walsh there. Now, was he one of your favorite teachings that inspired you? He is. 
he, he definitely, his book series, Conversations with God, was a big inspiration for me. I couldn't find anything that wasn't consistent with all the metaphysical teachings that I learned from the masters, you know, from the great philosophers of, 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 our, of our time. It was all pretty consistent and with his, what, what people would call channeling. But, I, you know, to me, I'm convinced that, you know, people like Neil Donald Walsh and other people who have written books similar to his, they are tapping into that divine um, source inside them that we all have. And all the answers are there, and that's how they're coming up with it. And it's just, it's just, it's just today's, it's today's, it's the, it's the way that God is coming through us today, is is what I believe. Well, 15 years ago, you were mopping floors at Paramount Studio, uh, and now you're at a <laughs> film festival uh, as the director producer of Three Magic Words. So uh, something's worked in all these teachings. That's funny. I didn't know you had that information. <laughs> oh, we know all about you, Michael. <laughs> It was a, a long, long struggle of of uh, just um, paying my dues. You know, I I just searched for a common theme in all the metaphysical teachings because I wanted to get involved in the film industry because I knew that was the, really the, the best way to get out to the masses. Um, people just, I, I don't think they're reading that much anymore. They're just going to movies. So, And the movies go out on a global scale and are translated in many different languages. So my goal, I don't... You know, I can't explain why I've always felt this way and why I've always wished this for humanity, for the earth. But I, I just, as all, ever since I was a child, I just didn't understand why we didn't, why we were still fighting wars, why we couldn't get along when we all know that we're all the same, we're of the human race. You know, and I was into science fiction a lot, so maybe that was it. When you know, there's, they're 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 showing you know wars out in space of different alien species fighting each other, and you know, I got that. But then I'm here on Earth going, well, why are we still fighting each other? We're the same race. So I just like went on a search to figure out how to teach. Well, no, I wouldn't say teach. I, I don't at all say that I'm an expert at all in anything. But how to get my message out there, which is, you know, let's love each other as we love ourselves. And so that's the, that's what I did. I searched for a common theme that all and all the spiritual teachers and masters were, were, were telling us how to do that how to see everyone as one, how to see everybody as a divine spark of, of that consciousness that was from the, from the creator itself. And so that's uh, what I did. And so the movie was just a, 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 an attempt to express that common theme. Now, was it right that you met uh, Rennie Zellweger beside a, a, a poolside at a college in Texas, uh, and that she yeah. explained that uh, she was going to make it, and that sort of uh, stuck with you? Exactly. I I had no idea. I didn't. I've, this, I've never heard of the concept. This was back in nineteen uh, nineteen eighty eight or eighty nine, and um, I, this was before anybody really heard the concept of positive thinking or you can create your own reality with the way you see the world. You can create what you what you experience. The only thing you you ever found that in was the old books. Um, you know, the power of positive thinking. There, those were, you know, in the Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, and those were some older books that a lot of people never read. Mm. I happened to come across them later on, but uh, Renee Zellweger, she was a freshman in college, I was sitting at the Poole University of Texas, and, uh, you know, I first, I just went, when I first met her, and I asked her what her major was, because that's kind of like all you can really think to say when you meet a pretty girl. <laughs> and uh, she <laughs> said, you know, she was a theater major, she was going to be an actress. And I looked at her and I said, well, you know, that's really competitive. I mean, why, why would you spend all your money and your years going for that when you know how hard it is to make it there that's in right. that industry? And she just looked at me and didn't say anything for a while, looked at me right in the eye and just sparked, like stared into my eyes. And just when, when they say that somebody looks into your, into your soul, that's what she did. And she said, I have an angle. And I just went, well, you know, I'm thinking maybe she has uh, a relative in the industry, you know, nepotism. And I said, well, what's your angle? And she said, I'm going to make it. Like with that strong determination. And I knew, I felt chills throughout me. I knew that she was because of that determination. And then it's just years later, I discovered that 10 years later, she, I, I see her, you know, on the, on the screen with Tom Cruise. And I'm like, she did it. Yeah. And I remembered, okay, well, that was what they told us in The Secret. That's what they told us in The Power of Positive Thinking and Creating a Reality. It's just having that no, that determination that you know you can do whatever you want to do in life 
and you will. You have to go for it. That's right. And I think some of these, uh, there's not many metaphysical movies out there, but you mentioned just one there, The Secret. Um, you know, the, I mean, I like The Secret. Uh, you know, I've, you know, there's a good, lot of great authors on there. Um, but throughout the whole movie, they, they, they never talk about world peace on there, do they? They never talk about nope. creating that balance. And I think it missed something there, that it was all about the materialistic side, because I think the journey you've been on is definitely not for the money. Yeah, well, I, I would say... A little different. I would, a lot of people I've heard, you know, talk about the secret, the movie, the secret that way, and it's turned people even off from seeing it because only half the world has seen it, maybe even less, well, a lot less than that. Half the country has seen it, and uh, I don't look at movies and find what's wrong with them. I look and see what they, what they did give us, what the, what the positive thing of yes. what they gave us, and a lot of people were very were heard about the power of positive thinking for the first time in their life. I'm like, well, that sounds better to me than stressing out and being negative all the time. So if you can walk away from that movie and just get that concept, you're going to, you know, you're going to grow in a huge way. So I would say that that was, that movie was, you know, that was the, the, that was what it gave us, you know, and then, and that it opened the door, you know, what the bleep, another great metaphysical film that opened the door to bridging science and spirituality. Now we understand that they they're one they go hand in hand, and then that opened the door for movies like Three Magic Words. We we can go a step further now. Now that since the door was open, now we step into the room. That's right, and you're making your reality as you go along as well. And uh, you know it, it's it, it's your it's it's whatever your heart. You, it's you have to be passionate about what you want. You ha it has to be a benefit towards others. And, you know, uh, you've also got to love what you do because the love has kept you going, I think, through the process of filming this over, what, four or more years? Yeah, it took four years. I really started with nothing. If I told you what the budget was, you you wouldn't believe me. So, yeah, I took the concept of believing that I could do something, and I, I really didn't have an expectation of what it was going to come out to be. I just wanted to get it done because, you know, I was finally there. I was in Hollywood finally making a movie finally on the message that I've been working on for, you know, 20 years, really. Just, you know, finally getting, finally learning, learning the ropes. Um, and then, you know, I had to, I had to wear every single hat. I, since when you have no money, you've got to learn everything. And Absolutely. I just did it. I went back to school, Santa Monica College. I learned post-production, editing, graphics, animation. Um, and, and uh, that's what allowed me to make it and finish it. And I had, I didn't, know it was going to be as moving to that I, I mean people I didn't know they were going to be really like it they were they were going to be this transformed by it and I guess the the, the message really does that yeah, absolutely. And we're not going to give away the three magic words because I think that's part of the uh, sort of self-discovery journey we can go through when watching the movie. So um, exactly. please, please don't text into to us that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you also, you know, it's like, like giving it away. It's like you don't want to hear the end of the movie before you see it. No, anyway. You're not of course have, not. Have experience. Of course right. not. And especially with this movie as well um, because it is quite powerful. And, um, I mean, we'll get into the, what the reactions of, uh, of certain people have been like uh, just a bit uh, later on in the interview. Um, but um, seeing this shift from your family's eyes, how have they taken your work? Were they quite open-minded? Are they still speaking to you? That's a great question. <laughs> a lot, that's a very good question. Um, one of the things that drove me, was to my parents didn't I have a twin brother and we've been on this kind of a spiritual journey together and kind of uh, were introduced to the same thing the same concepts um, of um, the truths really in all the, all the religions before they were um, you know before they were um, watered down from man's own ego and and their own, in its own design um, so we went into metaphysics and learned everything and visited Indian gurus and learned from them and um, started meditation and yoga. And so we were on the same path together. And mom and dad were just, uh, they didn't understand it. They thought we were doing drugs. They thought we were brainwashed. They said, you, they're in, were, you know, I, that we might be involved in cults. And so that was part of what really kept me going is I made this movie 
for them. When you can focus on someone that you know, like, okay, so if my parents think like this, then how many other people in the world think this way? That's right. And so I just focused on making the movie for them so that they would get it and they would understand it. And maybe that's why it came out the way it did. People, people, you know, anyone can watch it and get the concept. Maybe that's because I did it for them. But So I showed it to them. They fell asleep the first 15 minutes. Now, I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's a, a program that puts people to sleep when they start hearing about something that's outside of their their uh, comfort zone. But uh, then, you know, I was I decided I was going to try to play a trick on, on my dad. And I said, well, Dad, uh, I'm going to... We're going to be changing it. We're going to be adding 11 more minutes for for distribution, and I need you to watch it again for me. Do you mind? Because I need you to help me and let me know if you like the ending. And so he watched it again. And after he watched it, he actually stayed awake for it and finished the whole thing. And he called me up, and he goes, um, this is unbelievable. I, I never thought of this. I never thought of this concept before, and this is changing everything, everything the way I see things. And I said, well, we showed it to Mom. He said, go ahead, we're going to watch it again for the third time. Wow. So they watched it together. Yeah, they watched it together again. And then uh, they came into town, and we had dinner with my brother. And my dad looked at my mom and said, well, we want to tell you something. I'm like, yeah. And he's like, um, we, this whole spiritual thing you and your brother, you guys have been involved in all these years, we finally get it. And I can't even tell you the, the lift that just like flew off my 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 shoulders. It was just, it was so amazing when you finally feel that acceptance, you know, from your father, from your mother, like for all those years. Well, well and, do, uh, do, do do you think you came down yeah. as a soul group to sort of heal each other? Oh uh, yeah, I definitely believe we choose our family. Yeah. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of healing took place in in that in that moment. It sounds very powerful, Michael. Yeah. So you know that's. That's, uh, it was all worth it, all the years I spent. All the nine to five jobs that I lost, it was worth it. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, it, of, of course it was, but... Uh... Yeah, I think something else kept you going as well. This this is what uh, this was your love, and and and, I, and I've got to emphasise that. I think that's what's really pushed this forward. And so um, after the break, Michael, we're going to get more into the movie. So okay, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to take a short break now. After the break, the phone lines will be open for you to speak to director of Three Magic Words, Michael Perlin, uh, or you can share your opinion. You can call us on o two nine two zero 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 three six six six, or text your comments and questions to. 07728 758 759. International listeners outside the UK may Skype the show by adding the more show live, or you may choose to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter. The more show is in partnership with Ozark Mountain Publishing, taking readers beyond the unexplained. Visit themoreshow.co.uk forward slash shop to purchase products and services from your favourite past guests. If you're new to this site, you can also catch up on the previous television and radio shows through YouTube and The More Show website. The More Show is supported by Mindscape, Paranormal and UFO Matrix magazines. Available for download on all major digital platforms. Broadcasting from the studios of Radio Cardiff, you're now watching The More Show. Welcome back. I'm joined by Michael Perlin, director of Three Magic Words. I'm just going to read this quick quote here. If everybody takes the responsibility for being one or for being the divine, then we wouldn't hurt each other. We wouldn't go to war. We wouldn't kick people out of their homes. We wouldn't abandon people. We would love and forgive. It would make the greatest planet in the Milky Way. Is that right, Michael? <laughs> yeah, that was said by my friend Athena Gustavi. And she she's it, it, she featured in the movie, did she? Yeah, she was at the very end. She was the last the person that we uh, we interviewed off the street. She was ah, a yes. good friend of mine. And yeah, she gave us that last quote. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because I mean, I have I'll, you know I have seen the movie and. Um, I, uh, I got, got to be at the uh, European premiere uh, down in London on December the 21st. What a fantastic day to uh, to launch it, Michael. Yes, it was, and that was a great uh, time that we had when you guys were just launching off uh, the interview there. 
That's right. Other guests. Oh God, yes, we did as well. I forget. I forget about that. <laughs> That's yeah. right. We did. Yeah, we we did. Uh, it's uh, it was a p- pretty mad time for us back then as well because we were just setting up this mm-hmm. this show and uh, building the studios and everything. So, uh, right. Yeah. How how quickly uh, time does go and. Uh, you know, you, uh, you, when you watch a movie like that, you, you, you sort of ask yourself, you know, who am I and what is the purpose of life? And I suppose, um, well, let's ask you, Michael, what is the purpose of life? Yeah, but the, here's the thing about that. Everybody thinks they know the answer and everyone makes a movie to try, to try and explain what they think that is. And I won't at all ever say I'm an authority on it or an expert. I only... I'm only giving the information of what the masters and the great philosophers have given us um, for the last, you know, 3,000 years. And uh, there have been so many, so many philosophers that have given us information uh, to answer those questions. Mm. And I think, you know, if we just use common sense um, and, and we can look into science, understand the nature of reality, which we have access to now, then we can see that we are all connected, that we're all connected with each other, with, with the energy that surrounds all things, the earth, nature, the entire universe is connected. And so if you ask yourself, who am I? Um, basically, we are all. And I am all is, is, a, big, is a, a very big teaching of the masters and of, the, and, and of, of uh, all the spiritual teachers. And, and that's, that's not the three magic words in the movie, but... Um, it's similar concept. So who are we and, and what's the meaning of life? I think it's different for everyone. I think that you have to answer that for yourself. And uh, for me, I would say um, to feel your oneness, your connection with everyone and everything, to see everyone as a beautiful divine being of light and love, and not to see any separation between you, between the divine, between all that exists in the universe, um, and to live that truth by being kind, by loving, but by being happy, and by knowing that everything that's happening in your life, everywhere you are, every single moment, is exactly where you want to be and what you want to be doing, because you chose to be here to do it. Yep, and that, that includes any you know, sort of situation you may be in which you know currently you're not happy with as well. You still made that choice. Absolutely. As much as we want to blame external reasons, you know, we have to take responsibility in self, ourselves and say, okay, um, I'm going to have to take some responsibility for this. I mean, that's difficult in some cases, yeah. you know, um, some extreme cases. Well, I would say, yeah, for challenges, obstacles, for things that are happening to people, that, you know, bad things and happen to good people, those use those challenges to learn, to grow. Those challenges are there to make you a better person, to make you, to give you the skills and the experience so you can actually thrive. Well, that's right. Sometimes it's the biggest shifts we go through that cause, uh, well, have caused people to go through an awakening process to ask that question. You know, uh, who am I? You know, do, do I exist beyond the body, beyond the heart? Am I just awareness? And what kind of Pandora's box do those questions open as well? Um, for me, it makes anything possible. Yeah. And there's some famous quotes by a lot of um, some of the uh, swamis of old. Um, you know, when you ask yourself the question, who am I? And you really deeply sit in meditation and ask yourself that. Um, that's when you find your, your true salvation or true um, realization, self-realization. Yeah. And, and, you know, I would say, uh, let me just say this. Um, if you want to know the answer to that, you can watch Three Magic Words, the movie, or you can just uh, write down these questions. Who am I minus my name, what I do, and where I'm from? And uh, sit there with that and see what you come up with, and then watch the movie. And that should uh, kind of uh, give you a little bit of, a, of uh, an answer to what uh, spirituality means. What ah. true spirituality is minus religion. There's a difference. Um, spirituality unites. I believe spirituality unites and religion divides. And if you look around the world, you can see the truth behind that. I'm not making that up. Well, I always find it difficult to just comprehend that, you know, God is only tethered to a particular religion. 
Um, I, for me, I, I'd like to think that God is uh, available for everyone. Uh, and you can find God without religion, but religion also serves a great purpose as well. And I think there are some beautiful things to say about religion, but um, I, I understand where you're coming from from as well. Um, no, I agree with you. I absolutely agree. Religion has its place. I came from one, and I think it's absolutely a good path to go on if that's what you choose to do. But eventually, I think that you have to ask yourself, the question, um, am I learning everything completely, 100% accurate, accurate in my religion? Um, are there other truths that I can find that might that might serve me well from other religions? And when you realize that, and it's a whole new realization opens up to you, and you realize that there's spirituality um, in all of them. And when you can learn, you know, spirituality, a connection with the divine, with, 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 with who you are as a divine being, and with who you are in connection with the Creator, you really feel a, a oneness. You feel a connection to all things, and and that um, that's 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 something that happens beyond religion, behind beyond an organized belief system of dogma that um, is created by you know um, a groups and churches and or, or you know anyone, the synagogues, temples. Um, you can break out of that eventually. I, I know a lot of people. Might, this might be hard to hear for the first time, but I had to break out of that to get to where I am now and to to really go on a path of true spirituality, um, because it's an individual thing. It doesn't have to be a group teaching anymore. You can find that that connection to God um, on your own, Um, and a lot of people do that through meditation and through um, really um, going on a path and seeking what what is true for yourself um, instead of listening to other people and tell you what they think God is. And, and listen, you know, and listen to them. Well, that's um, right. That's right. And, God for you. And, and also, you know, um, you speak to the people who have had um, some sort of spiritual um, or some sort of um, not paranormal, but sort of, for example, out of body experiences, or have been through a massive shift in their life where they've had to live their teaching, or they've had to that they've actually experienced something that's beyond their comprehension. Um, compared to those who are just, you know, reading out of books or are aligned with a religion where they've actually never felt the spirituality of that religion. Yeah. You know, and I think that's a great thing about your film as well is, you know, it takes you out of the mental perception and and conceptualization and it actually, you're feeling it. You're feeling it through Mm -hmm. the heart. Yeah, that was what I was hoping to do. That I was hoping to, uh, you know, I, I start off with nature, and, uh, and then I go into science, and the film takes you on a path and a journey, step by step, um, and then leads you up to um, a, the connection and the oneness and consciousness and what it what consciousness actually is, and what what we are, you know, minus the body, minus the mind, uh, you know, that that pure self. That without, you know, minus religion, minus your name, minus your race, minus where you're from, you take all that away and what you have left is the self. And that's what we all are. And and that consciousness comes from one place, and it's divine. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's not bad. It wasn't born bad. It's a, it's a pure consciousness. And that's, to me, that's God. And so, with, with three, I don't with, know. I, with free will as well. Yeah, absolutely, because we are creating what we do down here. We we chose to be here. We chose to live in the illusion of separation so we can have individual personalities. That's part of the game to me, and that's what all the metaphysics say. And, you know, I'm not making any of this up. This is just from my studies and from metaphysical research into all the teachings. And you can go do your own research and discover this for yourself. It's um, I think it's time. It's time to realize our oneness with each other. And that goes beyond any belief system at all. Um, any teachings that you've had from your parenting and from society, it just, just find it within yourself, and you'll find that spirituality. And that's what I, I like to tell people. Absolutely. But, uh, you, you, I mean, you mentioned, I think you mentioned, um, or you were edging on towards the, 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 the problems with um, 
that causes the separation sometimes, and and it, it, it can be down to um, the the ego. The ego, like I've mentioned before, it does get a bad rap, um, but it does block us in some respects, doesn't it? When we get attached to these external things, I am my degree, I am my job title, I I, I am my house, I am my car. Um, when you know, if we detach ourselves from the ego, would you say that? this can start the process to really get connected with living a fulfilling, fulfilling and, and, and loving life towards ourself. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would say that um, the way that you would do that to actually realize what I'm saying here is to just know that, you know, you're not that ego. Know that you're not that. Know that you're not your your religion or your 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 uh, race or your country and just know that you're so much more than that and that ego is there for a reason i mean it does it's definitely there to, to separate us so we know who we are you know so we know you know and i know i'm michael perlin and you're kevin moore and i live in the u.s and you're in, in uk but and that's important we want our own individual experiences and but to know that you're really not that, that, that you are me and I am you, like the Beatles song, when you know that, you start to live a whole different life and start to see everyone as yourself and start to treat them as yourself. And you, and you start to realize that killing is just self-mutilation. It's self-mutilation when you kill someone. And when you know that, you'll never, ever hurt another living soul. Well, that's right, because what you do to another, you do to yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the realization, I think, that... I think Hopefully we can all get to. The problem is, I know why we're not getting there. Because nobody believes it's true. Or they understand it on an intellectual level, but they don't get it on an experiential level. I mean, I, somebody could say, oh, yeah, I understand we're all one. But then they go and they say, oh, let's go and, and protect our borders and kill all these people. Okay, well, didn't you tell me you believe we're all one? So there's a there's a, there's a something that's not quite clicking or, or 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 on another level, we you know they 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 watch a movie like this, and then and then they don't do anything that's going to benefit themselves and others, or even put the others first, shall I say? Um, yet they call themselves uh, awakened souls, and they are to 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 that we you know. I mean, none of us are better than one another. I'm not saying that, but. I, I agree with what you're saying. It's it's it, yeah. It's so easy to go to go back into the the old pattern. What once you've had this awakening, but I suppose everyone's at at the place where they need to be. Is that not right? Yeah, I, I just I believe that we have the choice. We can create exactly what we experience on this planet, and it has to happen first within ourselves individually. Um, you know, in in the government, you can't just say, or a corporation, you can't just say, oh, I can't stand this corporation. They all need to just die, or, or this government needs to be, we need to revolt and take them down. It's not that, that, that there's nothing, it's the entity is it's, it's not responsible. It's the individual people within that group, and it, and that they just have to, every, each one of them has to start waking up like, you know, like popcorn. You know, once one pops, and everybody else will. And I think we just have to have a small percentage of people waking up to that that spiritual, that that self. You know, the self being self-realized, as the old masters would, would say it, and and seeing that divine love in all people. And that is, I'm really hoping that we get to that soon. Well, that that's right. Change yourself before you can, you know, you know, you know, change anything else. You've, you've got to, the change has to start with yourself. Right. That is Gandhi said. Hmm. And I, I've noticed that 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 when I think, you know, I oh, God, I want to change the world and do this. Well, actually, you know, start with yourself and affect the people around you to begin with. It's fun, you know. It, it's good. It's good stuff. And you, you know, you can you can experiment with this, and it works. Yeah, it does. Uh, be the change you want to see in the world. That's what Gandhi said. That's and what. It's so true. It, you've got to live your talk. You've got to walk your talk, basically. Yeah, absolutely. And people will see it. People will learn from. People will see you. And learn from watching you, and you just can be an an, an example well, well, of that love. You can be an example of the light. Michael, how much resist? I mean, did you have any atheists that that sort of found it quite difficult to uh, to finish watching the film? And yeah, what was the sort of re response from religious people as well? Oh yeah, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I 
I don't want to point any fingers at anyone. I've had a couple religious groups walk out halfway through the film because they didn't like one certain thing that they might have seen. But then I'd have others from the uh, Judeo Christian, both sides of the Judeo Christian um, religious um, belief systems, um, loved it. They absolutely loved it. They said, that was, I get that. That was totally non denominational. I totally get that. And I've had people get uh, mad, very mad at me. And then they, they go home. And the next day, they end up buying a DVD. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I just sometimes you just have to sit with something for a while. If it if it if it moves, if it gets under your skin, then and that should tell you something. Okay, why is this bothering me? Uh, why is this really affecting me? Because you've been you feel like you've been lied to. If it's something that completely goes against what you believe, and you might feel like it might be could either way. Either you completely disagree with it and you want nothing to do with it, and not that it hasn't really happened. It's normally somebody sees it, gets mad, and then they totally realize, wow, I'm getting mad because I feel like I've been lying to, and then they hear the truth behind it, and then they say, okay, i got to watch it again, and they buy a DVD. And that's what's been happening. <laughs> well, what was it? One of the quotes in your film, "Ye are gods, you do not know it," and that was, a, I believe, a quote from Jesus. So, okay, we're going to take a short break now. The phone lines are open for you to speak to director of Three Magic Words, Michael Perlin, or share your opinion. You can call us on o two nine two zero 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 three six six six, or text your comments and questions to o seven seven two eight seven five eight. 759. International listeners outside the UK may Skype the show by adding The More Show Live, or you may choose to interact with us on Facebook and Twitter. The More Show is in partnership with Ozark Mountain Publishing, taking readers beyond the unexplained. If you like what you watch, then don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest updates on The More Show. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new weekly television and radio shows. The More Show is supported by Mindscape, Paranormal and UFO Matrix magazines. Available for download on all major digital platforms. Broadcasting from the studios of Radio Cardiff, you're now watching The More Show. Welcome back to the show. I'm still joined by director, producer of Three Magic Words, Michael Perlin. Um, I'll just read out this quick quote. It says, I believe in God, but not as one thing, not as an old man in the sky. I believe that what people call God is something in all of us. And that was John Lennon. And, uh, you know, he left his mark on the world. And that's exactly what Michael's done as well. You, you've already left your, your stamp on the world, Michael. I also, I've always wanted to put my two cents in. <laughs> and uh, thank you. Um, I think John Lennon and people like Gandhi and MLK, those guys, I would say they put like ten cents in. You know, so this this movie, I just like to think is my two cents. Well, I think you're going to go on and do um, other things. And I mean, what what's? Uh, I mean, you're in the moment right now. You're you're someone that's when I came across you was very centered. I found and. So I don't like talking too much about future plans, but um, what is it you you would love to do next? Shall I ask you that? Yeah, I have I have a lot of um, projects in development that uh, you can actually see on the website if you're interested in seeing what they are. But they're all metaphysical. A lot of them are screenplays that I wrote years ago that are that have just been sitting on the shelf, and now I'm hoping to you know get them all made. So. Um, they all have an important message in them, all different, all uh, inspiring, kind of like a spiritual seed, if you will, um, that can grow into a big tree. So, um, yeah, all those projects are on the plate now. Have Have you gained more uh, confidence in the manifestation process now seeing this through? Absolutely. That's uh, yeah. I mean, that goes without saying. I'm I'm every day I, I see myself creating exactly what I've wanted to do in my life and just like uh, sometimes I'm just shocked I'm like wow I just created this <laughs> and it just keeps happening for me and I think it just it's it's just uh knowing that you can I just have this knowledge this knowing that I can manifest what I want and and when it doesn't come it's there's no 
I know there's no, I don't put a time limit on it. I don't say, well, I'm not manifesting because it didn't happen tomorrow or it didn't happen when, when I wanted to, because it doesn't work that way. It's like, you have to ex- you know that the universe has its own plan of when things occur. So you just wait and watch and see, and you'd be really surprised because, um, I, I forget who said this, but there's a famous quote. Um, if you set your mind on something, the universe conspires to make it happen. You know, if you really put your mind on it, and it's an absolute truth. When it comes down to that, the universe only knows one word, it seems to be to me, and that's yes. So be careful what your thoughts are. Be careful what it is in the moment that you're thinking about, because you know, right. if, if you don't think you're worthy, if you don't think, if you think you're unlovable, if you think you can't do it, well, guess what? The universe is going to reflect and say, uh, "Yes." <laughs> That's it. Right. That's exactly it. You don't have. You have to have. Basically, to manifest, you have to get to create your reality. A lot of people don't believe you can do it, and that's why you don't, because you don't believe. You can't have any, any, any doubt that it's the doubt, the fear, the disbelief that will immediately not make it happen. And that's the trick. That's the secret. That's the secret in the secret, is not to have any doubt whatsoever. And and what's your... You're creating this. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, if you look at... Well, look at your process as, as, as well. I mean, you know, you've believed in yourself. You, 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 you've done it because this is what you wanted to do. Uh, many, many reasons. But look at the people around you that you've attracted. You know, you're, you're surrounded by people now that just want to help, you know, and, and, and continue the success of the movie and have yeah, really... Yeah, Kevin Moore. Yeah. That's the, yeah, I attracted Kevin Moore. That's important to me. Well, well, thank you very much, and <laughs> vice versa as well. Don't you know? You are me. I am you. Yes, exactly. And I'm, <laughs> you know, yeah, this is fantastic. Getting on on the radio, you know, having having people hear your message and hear hear your, you know, your everything you've wanted to do your whole life and get it out there. Um, it's really important that you have that you you do it in a way that is positive and of, of helpful to the world and, and the earth. Because if you do something for the planet, you do something to help make this planet a better place, it will work with you and it, support you. It will, and, but I don't think that sometimes um, you don't always, uh, the, the, the awareness is not always there that you're actually doing it for others. You only see that once it, the, the events happened, that there was a bigger picture there. I have experienced that as well. Yeah, but here's the thing on that. You do it out of selfless service, and that's another thing the masters teach us: is to do it just out of just with be being heart centered as you do, create whatever you do, and do it for other people, and not not worry about uh, the rewards for yourself. And that's the, the masters; they don't live their lives that way. They do things completely selfless, um, and when you do that, you get back tenfold, um, because that's just the way the universe works. They see your sincerity. They see that you're authentic and genuine. Yeah, and that's it. Um, and so if that's, if that's if, how you do it. if you do want to experience wealth, for example, you know, I'm just going to go into that area. Uh, you know, you can experience it as well. There's nothing that says you have to be spiritual and penniless. No, but again, um, there, there, there's a there's another quote by a famous philosopher. I forget who it was. And he said. There's no point in being the richest man in the cemetery. You can't do any business from there. <laughs> so yeah. live your life not trying to be rich. Live your life to give others riches. Well, well that is wrong. We'll see that it happens for you. But what what if you want to experience it for yourself as well? I oh, mean, but see, it will. It will. Yeah. If you help other people get, help other people succeed, you will automatically succeed. And it, and it, yes. it you know, it might not happen right away, but. You're, you're, you're being observed, and you will feel so much happier when you do things for other people and you help other people. And you know, you don't have to take the credit for it. You don't have to have your name up on the spot spotlight because you know in your heart yourself what you're doing for other people for the planet, and uh, it will happen for you. It, and and you know, I, I, I and, it, and it's happening for me because I came from that angle. And it's amazing, isn't it? When you when you change the way you look at something, it looks back at you differently as well, or you seem to look at it differently. Um, you know, um, and, and I suppose as you become more awake, 
you realize these things that you know if you're not happy with something you can't leave something before you can love it you have to love it before you can leave it yeah you know all these as you progress spiritually and, and you, you have these awakening moments uh, through watching a film like yourself, there, there's so many questions that, that, that must, must arise uh, uh, from watching uh, such a movie as well. And uh, uh, I know they did for me when I first saw the movie. And, um, and I, I know the movie also scared people that I, that I knew that watched it as well. Because you know what someone, yeah, someone, someone, someone said to me, um, and, and it's a fair point, uh, is... If if you think that you are God, then you know that's scary because you could start doing some very negative things. Yeah, and that's because it's being, that's that happens when you take things out of context. Um, a lot of people are scared of the word God, so I would say it, don't use it. Use the word divine because we all know what that means. So replace that word and just use divine. And. Um, when things are taken out of context, they can make them mean whatever they want to. As we know, many of the spiritual texts from all the religions have been taken out of context and have taught us separation and fear rather than oneness and love and connection with the divine and knowing that we are one with the divine. And so, yeah, it can, yeah. it can, people can take it the wrong way. And that's why I tell them that to know that don't, that this message is not your, does not mean your personal ego in any way. No. It means pure consciousness. That's what we're talking about here. W which is love. And that, which is love. Yeah. Which is who you are. Yeah. Who you really are. And, minus your ego. And, yeah. And to sort of answer the question that, that I gave you there, really, you know, if you were to use it for anything negative to say that I am God, I, you know, I can, I can go out and, you know, hurt someone now or do whatever I want to do or, you know, have what I want. Well, you have to say to yourself, what would love do in this moment? Yeah, and, and, and you can't do that either. Because, see, if, when you know that you're one and, and with the creator and with the divine, then you see if you're really truly there and connected, then you have the responsibility of a mother to her child and of a father to a son. Um, and you have the, a responsibility to take care of the planet and take care of your creation. And if you take it out of constant, content and think it's, that you're, it's your personal ego that is God, um, then whatever you do, it's going to come back right on back up to you. So um, that's that's the universal law there. And we are shifting, would you say? To, we have shifted to be able to have this conversation um, there has a shift. There's been a shift that's taken place, I would say, and that we're at the very, very, very start of that shift. Yeah, I believe that. I believe that we are, you know, the technology just alone with the internet, the World Wide Web, where information now can go all over the planet. Um, that right there is bringing us together. You know that 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 was, I think, an important step. And I think when we um, can use that in a good way we can we can spread a lot of great information about how to change things on this planet um so it's it, there's a big shift and i don't know you know there's december 21st 2012 was a marker was a marker for everyone um because they everyone was expecting change on that day everyone was, was expecting a new um consciousness you know a new dimension where we're supposed to go into a, a new world where um, it, there is going to be more peace on the planet. And I really believe that. And I believe that we're heading into that new age, the new age of Aquarius that we've been hearing about since the 60s, oh, well, even before that. So it's all up to us how we want that to look like, what we want it to look like. Yeah. Well, that, 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 that's right. So I suppose you could say then we're evolving in, 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 yeah, in a sense. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely... I mean, every decade we evolve um, from racism to equality to women's rights to um, nonviolence. You know, in India, and so it's it's well look it's at the look evolution at, of our consciousness. Look at the amount of change where you are now in America since nine eleven. I mean, since nine eleven, which I think was a pinnacle shift, and it was a, it was a time time of fear for some people. It's really pushed people to go within and you know the landscape's changed hasn't it the, the, the pe people have changed 
Um, you know, yeah. uh, sometimes we need, the, well, sometimes big events, maybe they happen just to really push us and, you know, to wake us up in a sense. Yeah, and I believe that the earth and that what we do is a result of our consciousness. It's a complete, it's a total reflection of how we're thinking, and that's why things are happening, why things are the way they are on this planet. It's uh, coming right out of our consciousness. And that's, yeah, and that's why, you know, the earth will actually resonate with whatever we're, whatever we're, our vibration is at, on a, on whatever we're thinking, whatever we're feeling, we're going to see it manifest on earth mm. in different ways. Mm. Absolutely. And um, with your production that's company, we well, yeah, no, no, uh, it's, so, go ahead, sorry. Uh, it's Starseed Films. That's what I was going to say. Your production company name is Starseed Films, and um, right, yeah, because I always wondered about that. I, I thought, well, that's quite a cool name, but, but what's the meaning behind it, then, uh, Michael? <laughs> okay, that's a long story. I'll try to make it brief. Yeah, um, I grew up. You know, I think my greatest teachers were were the great sci-fi, science fiction, um, uh, like Star Trek and uh, the Twilight Zone, and I grew up on that stuff, and. Um, so I always resonated with uh, other worlds, you know, um, places where we've already reached a high level of advanced technology and 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 peace and um, higher evolved civilizations out there. And I always believed that they existed. So um, then I came across, you know, the spiritual and the channeled information that so many were out there claiming to um, come from other planets, other worlds, other star systems. And a lot of that stuff started resonating with me um, because they were really speaking of uh, higher places of existence and how things were, you know, and how they treated each other and how they united, you know, whole worlds. And um, and, they, and, and they, then I learned about the, the – the, then that came – the star seed was one of the words that, that I found in, the, in, the, in that material. And star seeds basically are people – that I mean, there's other definitions of them, but to me, a star seed is someone who feels like they come from a a better place, like a higher, advanced place where things are not the way they are on this planet. A star seed to me is someone who thinks that you know things shouldn't be the way that that they are right now on Earth. That we should be doing something else. We should have there should be more love, more light, more peace. That we should unite the human race and start you know exploring the stars. Um, so, and there's a lot of people like that out there that feel like, you know, that resonates with them. So that's, that's where I came up with the word. I mean, that's where, what, what a star seed is to me. And well, so I came up with that as a production company. You know, funny you said that, but you, I, I've been watching lots of NASA recently, <laughs> only because it's, you know, it's, it's, I think it's good TV. And, uh, you know, when you watch the live feeds from the International Space Station and it looks down on Earth, it's just incredible. To, to see the the uh, the immense beauty of our planet and the the unlimited uh, unlimited possibilities of the universe it really is yeah yeah it changes you it does something to you when you realize that it's just this little glowing ball and a lot of people don't think about it don't go beyond that they don't even realize I've talked to, <laughs> it's so funny you just talk to some random person on the street and ask them um, how many stars do you think are in you know one <laughs> galaxy yeah. And they'd be like, oh, I don't know, there's 200 billion yeah. or more. And then you're like, well, you know how many galaxies are out there? And nobody even thinks about And then I'll think about that. And it's like, it's that that right there, There's we haven't even begun to no. tell. Just no. we've, we've only come at a fraction of the galaxy. That's right. That's right, and if you, I mean, when you just look at the stars, then that's just God looking back, isn't it? So, yeah. Um, so, now, yeah. now, where can people watch your film, or how can they watch it? They can go to the website, uh, threemagicwordsmovie.com. You can watch it uh, right now while it's still up. You can watch it on Netflix, um, and you can outside of the U.S. You can purchase the DVD, and, and the DVD will be released for the U.S. very soon. But until then, you can buy it from outside the U.S. Okay. So that's well, on the website. We'll link that up onto our website as well. But Michael Perlin. And, well, 
let me just say that there are yeah. other places too if you want to watch it from iTunes and uh, Blockbusters and, and there's lots of other um, platforms that uh, you can find there right on the website so excellent okay well we'll link those up as well Michael Perlin thank you so much for joining us today thank you Kevin it was my pleasure thank you so much thank you well we've come to an end on tonight's show Don't forget that you can listen and watch all our past interviews on the More Show's official YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new daily shows. You may also find out more on all past and upcoming guests by going to the moreshow.co.uk website. So do like us on Facebook for the latest updates. And until next time, be safe. Visit themoreshow.co.uk forward slash shop to purchase products and services from your favourite past guests. If you're new to this site, you can also catch up on the previous television and radio shows through YouTube and the More Show website.